Can I be of any service to your committee as a speaker driving the campaign? From a letter to R.F. Jones, Chairman of the Republican Committee. Every action during his administration, Lincoln, the most trying and turbulent in our history, has been weighed in the balance with critical accuracy by those most conversant with the momentous affairs of the nation. Well sir, if that's the way you insult a gentleman, I don't want to stop in your hotel. Return my money and I will leave said to the clerk of the Blossom House Hotel in Kansas City. A great deal has been said and written about the causes that operate against our success in competing with the white man for an equal chance in the race of life. We have among us as leaders men who feast and fatten upon credulity and generosity. Some of the most vicious of the country are our reputed leaders. We must improve our social status, we must have social distinctions, we must draw the line between the refined and the unrefined. No rigid rule of exclusion by which our homes and families may be protected against the incursions of fat indolence and dangerous libertines. I wrote your committee some time ago tendering my services as a speaker. My letter seems to have been treated with contempt. We should refute the white man's slander, all colored people are alike. We hold to many false ideas and practices in social life, that militate against us more than any other social factor. It is a mistake for your committee to ignore the services of a number of serviceable colored speakers from the South. With peace came a change of public sentiment. The North became charitable. The South had not suffered in vain. The War of the Rebellion was unprecedented in all the annals of war in the history of the civilized world. Create sentiment favorable to intellectual and industrial liberty. All the laws against us are merely public opinion and legal forms, 